Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors, and blessed citations to the elect of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which fight and endure, holding their conduct, composure, and integrity, above all their integrity, for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to be an elect and saved. All right, this is Yaakov Wall, and I want to go into uh, Sirach 25 and 13. It says, give me any plague with the plague of the heart, because um, I want to talk about heartbreak, all right? Essentially, everything you go through, okay, well, actually, literally, every single thing that you go through is a test to test the strength of your heart. Now, you know what the word heart means. It goes back to the Hebrew word la'ab, which means uh, your intellect, your mind. All right, everything that has a spirit attached to it. And it is there to test the strength of your mind, whether it be a folly, a folly matter, whether it be something simple or whether it be weighty, whatever it may, if it may be for your benefit, it's still a test. Because if it's for your benefit, it could lead to pride if you don't balance it or you don't remain humble. It could lead to your, your destruction because you do something that you shouldn't have did. Everything is a test to test the, your, the strength of your mind. And this, this scripture exemplifies just how weighty of a matter it is dealing with everything because Sirach said, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. You know, we live in, a, we live in the land of Marathayam. All right? The word Marathayam, the nickname given to Babylon, meant the land of double bitterness and double rebellion. And you can, assure, you can rest assured this place is bitter as hell. Because it says, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. You see what you've gotten being with the woman America, right? You see how she treats you, all right? And then you see how she treats the ones that you love, right? Bewitching and, enchant and enchanting everybody. That's why it sucks when you have a broken mind because... In this time, you can't go to the, your woman. You, you, you can't go to your children. You can't go to the system. Fuck the system in the first place, but you can't go to America and seek help because they are wicked-ass women and people. It says in, uh, what is that? Uh, in uh, Proverbs, I think it's something to the effect of, like, by the, by the lips of a horse woman, a man is bought, uh, brought to a piece of bread. You see what this woman has done to you. You see the things that you got to deal with on a daily basis dwelling among her in, in this place. All right. And this scripture can be twofold because the wickedness of a woman, man, when you have a broken heart, you can't even go. And usually it's, it is your own woman that breaks your heart, you know, you know, and, and they don't understand that we're fighting for them. If that be the case, if you got a woman that you love and children that you want, in the kingdom, you know, they don't understand what we're really doing. So you're basically trapped or you're basically alone in this thing. The only thing that can help you out is the brotherhood. And that, and this ain't a video about the brotherhood, but that's essentially what it is. And, and that, and I'm actually turning it towards the, the ultimate person you should turn to is you have about Shimei Shai. You had the account. All right. I'm going to go to get it. You had the account. Uh, when you have a shy six, uh, when he, when the disciple, when the certain of the disciples that were walking amongst with him had, uh, heard <clears throat> what you said to him and they disagreed and they turned away. They ended up walking away when he asked the apostles, you know, will you also go? Will you also go away? And their response was this John six and 61 says, when Yahweh knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What? And if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profited nothing. And these people they can't help you because they walk according to the flesh. All right? It is the spirit that quickeneth. These words, the spirit of life, Yahweh Shai is what brings you to life. He can secure you. All right? Um, 2 Corinthians, the sixth chapter and the second verse says, that I have heard thee in thy day of trouble. I have secured, secured thee and I have aided thee. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because when, you when your heart breaks, what do you usually do? What's the first thing you try to do? You try to seek comfort. You try to remedy or, or amend it so that you can feel that comfort again, right? 
Well, Yahweh Bashem Yashah is that ultimate comfort. All right, he's the one who can heal your broken heart. And that's hard because we should be able to go to our loved ones and, and confide in them. And the scriptures say that to, to see that life in that bosom. But we can't do that because they're disenchanted. They're bewitched. They're under spells. It says the flesh profited nothing. No, it's like the, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And so the scriptures, or well, this, the scriptures even say, I, I believe I have it. Let me get it. In 2 Corinthians 15 and 19, it says, If in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are of all men most miserable. Because where are you going to go when your heart breaks? Who can you go to? Nobody. They don't understand and they don't have the knowledge that we have to, to remedy a, a, a wounded spirit. Our, our loved ones, man, are the first ones to kick us down. Not understanding, we're fighting for them. Because we, we, we know the outcome of this place. All right? The scriptures specifically identify what's going to occur to, the, to these people, to this world, this rulership, and the wicked amongst it. They're going to be consumed to not, man. They're, they're, there's going to be no more remembrance of wickedness. And so that's why the Lord says to, to warn them from me and to, hey, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade them. But they're so hard-headed, man. Our people are hard-headed and stubborn, man, they, that they don't, they will continue to fight you to the end of this thing. Which sucks because they don't, they give us a, a worse mindset if you allow that shit to affect you. But that's why it's important to remember well, when you do go through something like this, when your mind is heavy, hey, you how about Shemiah Shai? It says, 1 Corinthians 15, 19, if in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are of all men most miserable. Now, where are you going to go? All right, where are you going to go? John 6 and 64 says, but there are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh I knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except they were given unto him of my father. And you can't, you're, you know, we pray every day, Lord willing, that we turn immediately to Yahweh Bashem Yashai in a situation. All right. But sometimes you get so damn heavy, man, that you you, you get distracted. All right. I, I, I've spoken on previous accounts. The, the whole purpose of what we're going through is so that our minds can immediately run to Yahweh Bashem Yashai in the time of trouble or when we're distressed or distraught or uneasy or uncomfortable. Like I said, everything you deal with is a test to test your integrity to see where it's going to go. And it should always go back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. John verse uh, 6 and 66 says, From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Now this is the part. The part. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. The apostles understood, man. There's nowhere, nowhere in this world, man, can you find security and comfort and peace because the world is 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 under wickedness man it's, it's again it's bewitched it sucks it really does and this is what we're fighting against that wicked woman that sitteth upon the beast america our own people bewitched by america by esau going according to their own lust it says and we believe john 6 and 69 says and we believe and are sure that thou art that hamashiach the son of the living Yahweh, why Yahweh, or the, uh, I'm gonna say the son of the living Yahweh, because he is, the, he is, he is. You know, everything is. All the apostles understood that the only way they can get peace is through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and we gotta, we gotta retain that integrity. All right, we gotta remain grounded and rooted. All right. And I say this at this very moment, even, even I am heavy. And I'd say this to rebuke what's in me because at the end of the day, man, you get caught up in what's going on. You, you, you know, you're going to lose your, you're going to lose your sight. And, and you can never encourage someone to, to endure enough. This is the daily thing. And we got to do this to the very end. So your mind is going to continue to go through things that are going to make it unstable, that are going to throw it off. That are going to distract it, but we always got to remember that there's nothing there's nothing for us in this world. If you leave this man, hey, all hope is lost. <laughs> so all I'm saying is just keep in keep in mind that what you're fighting for is not just you know 
just to, you know, whatever it may be that you think it's, it's for a reason. And, and you can't let the things of this world throw you off because of it. Now I did, you know, when I did read, um, in, um, Sirach 25 and 13, it said, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. Cause it's, it, shit, man, this is the biggest battle that we deal with, you know, shit, <laughs> put me in more debt. You know, give me a flat tire, get me stuck in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, at least deliver me out. But shit, take away the plague of the heart. That shit sucks. Even at this very moment, man, you, I, I guarantee you every man is thinking of just their struggles they're going through. But hey, let me let me go ahead and get this. Call upon you, how about Shem Shai? No, that's not the right, that's not right. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians six and hey, I'll start at one. It says, We then as workers together with him beseech you also that you receive not the grace of the most high in vain. Hey. I mean that, that right there. Understand what you're what you're dealing with and understand who you can who you can go to in your time of trouble when you're when you're at your lowest. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. And that word means to aid and to help. It says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And you got to call upon Yahweh Bashim al Shai at every turn, every thought. So, just something I wanted to talk about, man. You know, low wind, it was edifying. I know it was a little choppy. But, um, hey, man, just just keep fighting, man. That's all I could say. But again, low wind, it was edifying. I want to give all glory and praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rukakwadash, Barakatham. Devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors and blessings to the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatam, Kwame Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.